Alright, welcome back guys to Midnight Gamer. Uh, this is a new series that we have right now. It's called Valkyrie Chronicles. It's another game where I get to play. Um, this game is awesome and I love it. Although I never get to finish it for some reason. But um, this time we're going to finish it. I'm ready to give it a good review. So uh, let's take a look at this game. Uh, it's a war based game. The fantasy type, although it's more more realistic. Um, let's get started right here. Um, I'm gonna start a new game. Make sure our options are good. All right. I'm not sure if you guys want to listen to it in Japanese or English, but I definitely prefer English, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And all the music is fine. So let's start a new game. As you see, it's all it said load game on there. Cause I had another save file from there before, but that doesn't matter. Let's see what this war is all about. BC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west. A network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Oh shit. War. War never changes. Its vast military superiority struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. That's not even cool, dude. I was like, they didn't even do anything to you. Gallia to arms. A lot of talking on here, though. So that was what we listened to. As we'll view this episode, Let's see what this episode's all about. I'm I'm digging like the March, the art book style. Kind of reminds me of Paper Mario. <laughs> like like it just looks like hand drawn, and then when you actually play it, it looks very nice and well done. are leaving the town before the invasion headed inland towards the capital why does that truck have three wheels how does that truck even work how does it support all the weight on this road in years it really hasn't changed very much already what do you mean already? Hey like, there, what, what is that? The fishes. Like, what, what do you need from fishes? Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Why are you talking to fish? Why are you being weird? I'm assuming that he's the main character, so it's pretty normal for him. Oh snap, you about to get wrecked. Slowly. Oh shit. Haven't seen you around before. She ain't playing their games. What's your name? Um my name's Welkin. And you are the one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. <laughs> I'm Alicia. Damn, gotta be Alicia so Malcolm. savage. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish, and uh, you know. Uh, hmm. 
Yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Ah, you better teach her as a lesson. Like she already know. You ain't messing with this nigga. Thanks, fish. Wait, what? <laughs> Thanks, fish. That was a really short episode. That was that didn't that didn't even feel like an episode. That was just like the cutscene. God, look at that guy's big ass nose, dude. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. Oh yeah? Great. Oh yeah? It's gonna take you a while if you got some coding. Is that you? You don't know about my fish. Isara. Oh god. Oh, your there goes my phone. Perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? <laughs> the sudden realization that she fucked up. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. You better be sorry. Sounds like you taking my stuff from me, making me feel like I'm nothing. Wilkes has a real passion for <laughs> Lucky I won't smack the shit out of you. Studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! The sudden realization that the war is actually real. Damn it. <laughs> it was like, you ready? You ready to get well, wrecked? You can handle a gun, right? <laughs> get riggedy riggedy wrecked. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. New episode. Hey, at least we might might be able to get some action. Okay. Open the menu by pressing the Y button. Obviously, I don't know what the hell the Y button is. Some playing on a PS4 controller. Then select save and record your progress to the Steam Cloud and hard drive. Saving is a good idea before, during, and after any combat operation. Anything can happen out there. Alright, I'll save it then. I like how it tries to look like. Yes, I like how it tries to look like the the uh, PS3 version of it. It's not. It's really not. Let's go! Finally, some action. Okay, here's the plan. All right, buddy. Let's throw the papers on there. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brugl? Is that how you say it? Or, or Brule? We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Oh, you know it. This game's too easy for me. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Ooh. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Okay, make it snappy. About CP command points. 
When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as combat mode. Here, you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on their position per respective to the enemy. Then press A. Doing so uses up one of the command points displayed at the top of the screen. They will reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can give instructions to, i.e. control your units per each player phase. Okay, in this battle you have 3 CP, so you can insert instructions to your units up to 3 times. Let's try moving a unit now. Is this how it's going to be like? What, what is this? Looks like some kind of like fan or something. Okay, let's go walk in. Oh wow, that's cool. About AP points. Use CP to select the unit in command mode and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move the unit until you can freely move the unit selected around the field. As you move around action mode, the action points at uh, the AP gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents that unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, this unit will be unable to move any further. Keep an eye on the unit's remaining AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. Alright, cool. Now use those ancient symbolic symbols from the hieroglyphic ages to move the unit near the sandbags. So, see my buddies. Let me go forward. That guy's turned around. About attacking. Press another ancient hieroglyphic symbol button to enter combat mode or target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with their currently selected weapon. Use symbols to move the crosshairs onto an enemy or the the symbol and symbol buttons to snap between targets. But enemies will not attack while you are in target mode. So take your time to aim well before pressing A to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. The unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If your target survives your attack, then they may launch a counterattack. A damaged unit may not have the HP hit points to survive the enemy's encounter, so be careful when planning your attack. It's great. Let's wreck this guy. Let's see, like charge in. Um, I wanna. like right in front of him now. It's terrible. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, when a unit with zero AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further, press B to end the current action. This will return you to the command mode where you be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press B to end the unit's action even if they have not attacked and still have AP. That's cool. Great, can I choose him again? Oh cool, I can choose him again. Alright, let's, let's run! Okay. Shoot this dude. Wait, what? Do I, do I press the A? Oh yeah, I press the A button again. There we go. God, he's like a ragdoll. Freaking wrecked his ass. Oh yeah. Let's go over. How do I go over? No. No. There we go. Okay, so I don't. I don't know. There's another using cover. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Press A to take cover behind them. While hiding behind cover, units are harder to target, taste like taste less damage, and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could significantly will take significantly more damage. 
Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your actions safely, hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure your victory for Gala. Seems legit. Okay, so I'm gonna end right there. Trying, trying, trying to be strategic. Let's get her on the field. I like it that I can, you know, do three of them. Can I shoot? forward with this take care of this I have behind the shock not really but I can shoot at this dude what no I wanted to shoot him oh, no I need that that nice face hit let's go back now I already shot him in the face. He's gonna notice. He's gonna notice that I shot him in the face. Oh, cool. I can switch between items. Yes. Well, I'm out. Let's see what the, the enemy does. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. Oh, God. Wait one second. Uh, ends in the enemy phase begins. One player enemy phase pair constitute a single turn. The fewer turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and experience you receive at the end. But being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risk. The key to find the key is to find a challenging balance. Yes. Let the enemy go. coming after us. He didn't even do anything. All he did was like get a little closer. Like I was about to say it because like I know I know that they can get closer. I didn't even use any of theirs. Okay so we gotta using CP effectively when well used, even a limited pool of CP could take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of three CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Perfect for cutting through enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. As said, people get tired. They start each consecutive action with fewer AP than last, so keep that in mind. If you use the cancel button to end your CP with CP still remaining, the CP will be carried over to next turn. Oh, that's very convenient. CP are a precious uh, resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Oh, yeah? Think people are going to kill me? No. I don't think so. I got three. Let's do this. We are going in. Okay. I know I'm kind of... Take care of that dude right in the face. <laughs> Turn him into a yes. dummy. <laughs> He's like you. In the current action right now. And then just use another one and take care of him. This dude is just another mindless idiot. I wonder if I can zoom in. Alright, let's take care of him. Wrecked. I got him twice in the face. Or three times. And we have finished the operation. I don't see any more of them. I don't need any of Kawaii-ness. You, you just look like a maid. I think. I don't know. I got B-Ray. Yeah, I got a stamp. I feel accomplished. A new episode has been added. Alright guys, well, we're going to take a look at this episode or this thingy cutscene in the uh, next episode 
I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, game through. I will be having more on the channel, so you'll be seeing those. Um, we're almost done with Momodora, so we're going to be seeing the end of those soon. And then we still got Undertale and Killer is Dead. So if you guys want to lick, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day or night. And remember, it's midnight, gamer.